All right, so 3x plus 4y equals 12. So we got to solve for y. y has been multiplied by 4, and then 3x is being added on. So we can probably best to first subtract the 3x just to get the 4y in its own. So subtract 3x from both sides. 3x minus 3x, 0, and on the left I just have that, right? And on the right, you can either write down 12 minus 3x or negative 3x plus 12. Either way is correct. I'm just going to write this down, 12 minus 3x. So that's one step, and then we just have one more thing to do to get y in its own. Y has been multiplied by 4, so we need to divide by 4, right? And we've got to divide everything by 4. And another quick example, if uh, let's say you had 40 equals, um, uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba, let's say 40 equals um, 8 plus 32, and you decided I'm going to divide the right, and this is correct because 8 and 32 makes 40. If you just say, well, I'll divide the left by 4, you got to divide everything in the right-hand side by 4 as well to make the equation true, because what's this? 40 over 4 is 10, 8 over 4 is 2, 32 over 4 is 8, and now we have 8 is 2 plus, or sorry, 10 equals 2 plus 8, 10 equals 10. Does that make sense? So, and most students just want to divide one of the numbers by four and not the other one. And that's, they make a mistake there. So that would not work. So let's say 40 is eight plus 32 and you divided um, this by four and this by four and left 32 on its own, then you would have 10 equals two plus 32, 10 equals 34 and that does not work. So cannot do this where we're just dividing one number and not the other, right? So anyway, that's a common error. So we divide everything by 4, we get y equals 12 over 4, 3 minus 3x over 4. Now 3 times x over 4 is the same thing as 3 quarters times x. And now for fun, let's rewrite that with the x term on the left and the, the number on the right. And what might help sometimes is if you see a subtract sign in, in, in these equations, you can go plus negative, because it's actually 3 plus negative 3 quarters x, or negative 3 quarters x plus 3. The 3 is positive, the negative 3 quarters x is, is negative. And some students will mix that around a little, they'll make the 3 negative, but that wouldn't be right. Okay? Does that make sense? And so that, that little error would be something like if, if you had like 3 minus 10, that's the same thing as a negative 10 plus 3 because it's negative 7. 3, take away 10, I got negative 7. 10 bad guys plus 3, I got negative 7. So, so that this number keeps its negative. It goes over here, and this number is a positive 3. It doesn't become a negative 3. It says positive 3, just kind of like down here. Yep.